and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to be here today to attend the official opening of the new Chancery of our Singapore High Commission in Kuala Lumpur. This year is SG50, it's the 50th anniversary of our independence, and it's also the 50th anniversary of Singapore Malaysia relations. So, opening a new Chancery building is a good way to commemorate our friendship and to remember how far our bilateral relations have come. I'd also like to thank uh, the High Commissioner for his good wishes just now and to all Singaporeans and friends of Singapore who came to the High Commission to sign the condolence book on my father's passing and to pay their respects. I'm deeply touched by the outpouring of condolences and good wishes, especially from our closest neighbour, Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur is one of our most important overseas missions because Malaysia has always been an important partner for us. If Malaysia does well, both Singapore and Malaysia will prosper. If our relations are good, then we can pursue many win-win opportunities together. But if relations run into problems, it will lead to a lot of misunderstanding and trouble for both sides. We have many Singaporeans who work in and live in Malaysia. Some of you are here today. Just a small sampling of the much larger number in KL and in the rest of Malaysia. Uh, very often, we get together happily. Once in a while, we will need consular services or help. And so, we have to service our Singaporean community well. And therefore, we place special emphasis on the KL mission. We post some of our best officers here and we expect a great deal out of them. What they watch, how they read the situation, and what they report back to HQ. It, it, all this makes a big difference to how well we understand our closest neighbour and how successfully we can manage problems which arise and work together on them. So I'm very happy that we've done up this mission and upgraded it. I'm also glad that our bilateral relations are good. We've resolved a number of long-standing issues in an amicable way. We've taken a pragmatic approach, found common ground, and pursued win-win solutions. For example, on the point of agreement on railway land, all the follow-up joint venture projects, the N plus S projects, which are progressing well. The Marina One and Newer, UO at Opium, and the wellness projects in Iskandar. Next week, I will be holding a leaders' retreat with Prime Minister Najib. It's my turn to host. He's coming down to Singapore, and we'll have a dinner together, and we'll be discussing new areas of cooperation, one of which is the high-speed rail. And if we can get the high-speed rail going and running, this will be a very important project, which will foster closer ties between our people. And then we can come up, have lunch, and then go back down to Singapore. <laughs> Any time the lunch in KL justifies such a trip. <laughs> there will be other cooperation to explore and other issues to manage between us from time to time. And I hope that when the issues come up, whether it's cooperation or whether it's difficulties, we can handle them in the same constructive spirit working together whenever we can, and putting things aside to settle later when the time is not right and matters cannot be solved immediately, or where possible, resolving them in an impartial, objective way without affecting our overall relationship, for example, through arbitration, as we have done more than once. So there's no lack of work for High Commissioner Banu and his staff here at the mission, and I'm confident that High Commissioner and his staff, both the home-based staff as well as the local staff, will continue to give up their best and contribute to good relations between Singapore and Malaysia. So congratulations once again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prime Minister.